Welcome back, folks. One of the Museum of International Folk Art's largest collections came from one donor, a name that is as synonymous to folk art as it is to design. Alexander Girard was one of the most influential textile designers of the 20th century. He was the director of the textile division of Herman Miller for 20 years, and uh, these were used a lot and shown a lot, and uh, just, yeah, some of the most important textile designs in American modern design. He held close relationships with such contemporaries as Charles and Ray Eames, Rudy Gernreich and Andy Warhol. Yeah, great colors, great patterns, geometric but also floral, um, organic. He played with typography in his textile designs, um, so very different sources of inspiration. Yet his work and his contribution to the world of art and design goes far beyond textiles, as is celebrated in a designer's universe. A touring exhibition showing now in partnership with the Museum of International Folk Art's permanent Girard exhibit, Multiple Visions. The Girard family entrusted the Vitre Design Museum with this archive of Girard, his design and architectural archive in the 1990s. Um, our founding director, Alexander von Fegesack, he was already friends with the Girards, whom he again had met through the Eames and through Billy Wilder, which were mutual friends. And uh, having learned that Alexander Girard had passed away, he traveled from back in Germany here to Santa Fe um, because he was interested in this uh, archive. The Vitra Design Museum in Germany assembled this, the first major retrospective of Girard's work, through countless hours of poring over the collection. And as they did, the museum was able to assemble a collection that illustrates the diversity of Girard's creativity. He's probably also known for his interior design, another discipline he excelled in. He did uh, beautiful restaurant interiors, La Fonda del Sol in New York, L'Etoile in New York, uh, also his own homes in Gross Point and in Santa Fe. Um, very well known, the Miller House in uh, Columbus in Indiana. It was designed by Eros Ahnen, but where he did all the interiors and became kind of a curator of the house. Yet it was Gerard's love of folk art that brought him to the city different. Amassing a collection since the 1930s, the Girards moved to Santa Fe in 1953, bringing with them their growing collection of folk art, which would one day find permanent residence at Moifa, as a gift to the institution from the Girard family. There's a letter where he speaks to friends about this place, and he likens it actually to Florence, where he grew up as a child, and the climate there, and the warmth, um, and, the, and the incense and the smells you have here. Um, so he was very fond of this place and Susan Girard went along uh, and the family went along. Girard's designs were cutting edge, often pushing the boundaries of what was conventional, trailblazing a way for other designers to think outside the box, whether it be in textiles, fine art, branding or interior design. He had a, a great way of combining the playful with a, with a good sense of order. So even though it was playful, there was always a sense of a bit of restraint that kept, kept it all in check. The work of Girard lives on well after the pioneer's passing on December 31st, 1993. And according to Eisenbrand, it has much to do with the deep roots Girard grew throughout his life as an artist and as a collector. I think the reason why his design still appears so timeless is because he took a huge inspiration from folk art that he collected and uh, so he was always looking at archetypical symbols, archetypical patterns that have been recurrent in different cultures over time and he found a contemporary way to, yeah, to, to a contemporary take on them but because they're so rooted in, in folk art and in different cultures that's why they're so, so timeless. A Designer's Universe is currently on exhibition now through October 27th. If you want more information, just